اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایم یور ہوسٹ نوشین بیگ اینڈ یو ار واچنگ لائف سٹائل ٹی وی چینل اینڈ ایم ویری ایکسائٹڈ وین ویری آنر ٹو برنگ سم ون دیٹ یو آل نو از سو سیلف لیس کائنڈ اینڈ جینرس ٹوڈے وی آر لکی ٹو ہیو ٹمتی ٹاٹ اینڈ ہز بیوٹیفل وائف فوزیہ Fortunately, he brings his love and positive attitude to the country of Pakistan. Todd didn't look at differences in color, nationality, culture, or languages. He knew the importance of helping humanity and did everything we can. On one of the greatest human beings to walk the earth and who was also the best example of compassion and kindness in human form was the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam whoever is, uh, he said muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever relieves a believer's distress of the distressful aspects of this world allah will rescue him from a difficulty of the difficulties of the hereafter allah will elevate his lot in both this world and in the hereafter So I would like to welcome Timothy and Fozia in my program at Lifestyle TV channel. Hello Todd and Fozia, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum salam. Thanks for having us. It's great to be on your show, Nasheen. Oh, thank you. I heard that you were uh, traveling and you just came back. You're tired, but still you gave us time. I really appreciate it. And um, Todd, would you like to tell about your travel in, um, in uh, Sin? the third where uh, the distribution that you just recently did sure fozi and i went down to uh to visit karachi uh, i have a youth team cdrs youth team has been in karachi and they've been giving out water and food in neighborhoods of karachi uh, we also have a couple of uh, reverse osmosis water filtration plants we had to make sure that they were cleaned up and repaired because the flooded areas uh, also mm -hmm. affected them so we had to go and check these things out and then i went out to uh badin and mm -hmm. uh mir prakas and umar coat uh mm -hmm. very close to the tar desert um mm -hmm. where uh, the flooding was had several villages still that i visited uh i'll put some videos out in the next week uh of our work there uh some of the villages were still half submerged other villages were completely cut off were people had to go into the water to to go get food and things like that uh, so we uh, my team has been working there for the last uh, three weeks and mm -hmm. I went to visit them and do some food distributions so we went to some villages and we distributed food packs we distributed mm -hmm. clean water and we also distributed some tents that mm -hmm. were pr provided by our dear friend Fozia Shah with well wishers and her donors mm -hmm. so uh, we've uh, we've taken the love and and support and concern and represented the the prayers of our donors along with the, their funds to make sure that these people who've suffered a lot uh have some hope and some uh nourishment for their families so they can keep going we also visited a house that was uh a, a gentleman who an older man who was mm -hmm. very poor he has tuberculosis and his uh the walls of his home and the roof crushed in during the floods and so we are fixing that home uh mm -hmm. we brought bricks and sand and crush and and some laborers to start fixing his walls and his mm -hmm. home he was very happy uh yeah. so uh, these are the kinds of things that we were able to do while i was there this is so nice of you may allah taala reward all the uh, donors that you, uh, they are supporting you and the work that you are doing amazing work that uh, is i i don't think so that we have enough to uh, appreciate uh, with the words um i have other beside this you um went our northern areas uh, actually i think you have started from there from the north northern areas uh, with the earthquake that is the reason that you went there so thought would you like to tell us about uh, what is what was your first impression general impression about pakistan and what brought you these originally beside the uh, that uh, earthquake that, that that was the reason beside that Well actually that was the only reason there was uh, hurricane katrina and the tsunami in sri lanka that same year and i had been to both of those and i had literally just got back from hurricane katrina 
walked mm -hmm. in the door in front of the television and earthquake in Pakistan is all over the media. Uh, I, I had just come back home to Maryland from being in New Orleans for over a month after Hurricane Katrina. So I called the Pakistan embassy. I decided immediately I was going to go to Pakistan and uh, try to help out. I knew they would need logistics help. So before I even knew how I was getting there or who I was going with, I decided I would go. And I called the Pakistan embassy uh, to volunteer my services. They gave me the number of a team of doctors uh, that included APNA doctors and Islamic, Islamic Medical Association of North America uh, doctors. And so everyone was gearing up to go to Pakistan. And I, I never knew any Pakistanis before this. And mm -hmm. we, I, I came with them and they accepted me into their group because they needed logistic support. And I came to Pakistan and actually uh, in just a few days, October 8th, uh, it will be my 15 year anniversary of, of uh, being a part of this glorious, beautiful, Kupsarit Zabardust country of Pakistan. Wow. And so it's been a long, it's, it's been a long and magnificent, uh, magical mystery tour in Pakistan. Uh, it's never been a dull moment, but I only came for two weeks at that time. And after two weeks, the doctors asked me if I would stay and, and work with more doctors as they came because I built a team there that was taking care of their, whether it was their food or their tents and blankets, their resupply of medicines, the helicopters, uh, mm -hmm. that they needed. We were arranging that through the Pakistan Army and the U.S. Army for their transportation to places, uh, remote places to look after patients. And then we had a tent hospital set up, so we had to keep that resupplied. Uh, and we needed... We are going to um, ask your future plans. Uh, before that, I also want to congratu congratulations uh, to you and your beautiful wife uh, on your recent marriage. How was it uh, adjusting and um, and the experience of marrying someone outside your culture, uh, spe especially that uh, Pakistani girl? Well, Fozi and I uh, just really connected on the level of, of human beings, and, and and we had that chemistry together. And all of those those boundaries and differences, you know, they fall away when you meet somebody and you truly connect with them uh, at the level of the heart and soul. And that's what happened with us. So uh, I don't really think of all those those things. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, love is stronger than anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now I'm going to ask Fazia about her experience. Fazia, how do you feel? Yes, it's very good. It's very good. I would say that you should marry quickly. लवली <laughs> 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 आप लोगों को कौन सा कहाँ कौन सा रेस्टोरेंट पे जाना पसंद करते हैं? Whenever you have time to go out eat जबरदस्त फूड that Todd likes and you enjoy it too in Islamabad. वैसे तो बहुत सारे रेस्टोरेंट में मुझे अभी तक लेके जा चुके हैं. अभी हम लोग का सवाद भी हुई थी हनीमून के लिए कलाम वहाँ भी हम लोग different places गए हैं बहुत मजा आया. हम लोगों ने वहाँ मतलब बहुत हनी वो लोकेशन बहुत प्यारी है ना माउंटेन एरिया सारा तो इस्लामाबाद में भी बहुत सारे रेस्टोरेंट्स में गए हैं लेकिन अभी लास्ट टाइम हम लोग गए थे कराची में ना कोलाची उसका नाम है कोलाची कोलाची रेस्टोरेंट इस मंदिर के बीच में इट इट बॉर्डर तो मुझे बहुत पसंद आया वहाँ मैं एक बार और जाना पसंद करूँगी उनके साथ ओह माशाल्लाह और आप घर में कौन सी ऐसी कौन सा फूड है जो आपके हाथ का जो है टॉर्ट को पसंद हो और कहते हैं कि ये बना के क्लाइम पहुँच गया ये पास्ता मैंने बनाया एक फर्स्ट टाइम ना तो इनको बहुत पसंद आया तो इन्होंने फिर दोबारा अच्छा और आपका रेडियो पाकिस्तान से ताल्लुक है अभी मैं आपका टिकटॉक भी देख रही थी कि आप फैन एक्टिविटीज करती हैं और टॉप रेडियोस को पोस्ट किया था 
तो वो जो एक एलिमेंट नजर आता है कि पन का जो जैसे माशाल्लाह से टॉट भी सिंग करते हैं और तो वो वो दोनों वो केमिस्ट्री जो है वो कैसे आप दोनों की मिलती है आ, ये वैसे वीडियो मेकर मतलब इनको वीडियोस बनाना बना तो नहीं सकते ये लेकिन जब मैं बनाती हूँ ना तो इनको भी काफी शौक होता है हम लोगों ने अपनी जब हम हनीमून पे गए हुए थे ना तो इनका भी बहुत दिल था कि ये मेरे साथ वीडियोस बनाए तो हम हमारे जो साथ में ड्राइवर था वो हमारा कैमरा मैन था तो हाँ। फिर हम दोनों ने भी एक दूसरे के साथ बहुत अच्छी अच्छी वीडियोस बनाई है तो आई होप ये ये आपको शेयर करेंगे मैं इनको बोलती हूँ यू विल शेयर दैट वीडियो मेड टूगेदर इन कलाम They said that uh, oh Todd, you've become a Bollywood, Bollywood, Bollywood star. So really, that is true. हाँ अभी मैं job करती हूँ ना administration and accounts की job है मेरी. तो वो government है. अच्छा radio Pakistan. हाँ जी government की job है. अच्छा तो Todd ने कहाँ दिल खो बैठे आपके लिए कहाँ देखा तो उनका दिल खो बैठे वो. वो तो यही बताएंगे. I I met Fozia at Radio Pakistan. I was there. Uh, one of my employees set me up to do an interview on the on the Radio Pakistan show. And uh, when I went there, uh, I was introduced to Fozia um, as one of the managers there. That she is basically giving us a tour of the radio station and the. The places or at the at the, uh, the offices and things. She gave us a yeah. quick tour, and mm -hmm. uh, right away I said to my uh, my assistant Abed when we left, I said, "Wow, she's gonna make a <laughs> wonderful uh, wife to somebody someday." Oh, <laughs> that's so but interesting. I, I I never thought she would be interested in in me, um, but I just you know I noticed her right away. I was impressed with her personality, and okay. she was beautiful. and the fact that she was you know in a management position and this kind of thing and you know so just all the way around well spoken and and i was just impressed with her and i i thought wow she'll definitely uh make some uh, husband happy some day not knowing it would be me <laughs> <laughs> you are she is so beautiful and actually you look uh, so good together mashallah <laughs> I mean, like it's a double jodi, and over your friends here in Virginia, in Washington D.C., we are waiting for the Valima. Whenever you are ready to come back, and the situation gets bet better too, inshallah. So we are waiting for the Valima to meet uh, uh, Fazia here in America. I said, please, you come in our Valima. Valima, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> आप आएंगे मैंने कहा आप जरूर आइएगा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल क्यों नहीं आएंगे टॉर और आप बुलाएंगे तो हम लोग जरूर आएंगे पाकिस्तान वट आर योर गोल्स एंड ड्रीम्स फॉर पाकिस्तान हाउ डू यू बिलीव वी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम द लॉ राइट फ्रीडम्स एम्फोसिस ऑन लिटरेसी that's in america that we can implement in pakistan because because you have a wide vision you have experience here and now you can see over there so what changes what what are you looking what plans or goals you think or you wish to have there in pakistan well i mean my personally with our cdrs youth project that's the way that i want to contribute to the future of pakistan and it's it's really not about me or cdrs it's actually about these young people we work with they mm -hmm. believe in their country they believe in pakistan they respect minorities and they respect uh the rule of law and they 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 already know what to do they they just want to help their society along to become a better place for everybody a uh, place of equality and a place where the poor are looked after and these young people that we work with at cdrs youth they already know what to do we we give them a little bit of training and logistics and we we give them a platform with which to show their work we give them a lot of respect we give them some resources we connect them with donors so that 
the the these true Januni kids that we come across that are mm. working in universities and villages all across this country uh, so that they have what they need to do the work that they do. They're already doing such great work, but a lot of times they don't have the resources or mm. they don't have the help and support. So CDRS tries to connect them with donors and give them the kind of resources they need so that they can become much more effective in, in their work. And, and so I, I would say that that really they know what to do. They, they just need a little bit of a support in order to do it at a higher level. And, mm -hmm. and, to, and, and I tell all of our kids that it's not good enough for you to just do great work. You have to create at least another 100, 500, 1,000 kids just like you. So I tell them to go to the younger uh, kids and, and, and the schools and show them the, the way forward uh, of working together. Uh, you know, the, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, help your neighbors 40 in every direction. And, and he forgave sinners just for being so compassionate as to give a starving dog a drink of water and, 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 and the sins were forgiven. Um, if you save one life, you save all humanity. You know, everything is there. Uh, they don't need to look at the United States of America or other countries. All they need to do is look at the words of the, of the Holy Quran and all they need to do is just focus on their neighbors and their friends and building teamwork. Because there's a lot of individual brilliant people in Pakistan, but sometimes in teamwork is where things break down. So in governance, in co corruption, uh, these are the kinds of things that break down society and teamwork. So we, we stress with our youth to always build a, a team and work together as a team and support each other as a team, whether it be uh, just in your school or your province or your city or the whole country, mm. we have to all work together in order for uh, for Pakistan to be what we all know that it absolutely has the potential to be. All the ingredients are there. Oh, beautifully said. And we need some more leaders like Todd uh, for our youth. And um, I'm so impressed by your whatever you said, well said. Um, I really um, think that it's a beautiful feedback for our youth in Pakistan. Positive feedback. Uh, wonderful. They're, On they're fantastic kids. They're oh. just fantastic kids. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. And on flip, what qualities and characteristics in Pakistan do you want to see in America over here? Well, I mean, I think that in Pakistan, there's there's a lot of hospitality and there's mm -hmm. a lot of of togetherness in, in, in families and in groups that sometimes I don't see in America as much. Um, I, I love the way Pakistanis take care of their mothers and fathers and the elderly and their mm -hmm. families. And, and in America, we don't see that as much. We see, you know, um, uh, some for some reason, uh, it's like uh, they just sent to the old age home and, and largely ignored, maybe visited every now and then. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, gen I'm just generalizing, but mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in American society, uh, I don't think we respect and, and value our elders uh, as much as in Pakistan. And so I think that there's a lot that both countries can learn from each other. Um, mm -hmm. I think that uh, we can always learn from each other in every country has its ups and downs and has its weaknesses and strengths. And Excellent. Pakistan has has a lot of beauty and a lot of uh, of magical people here that that uh, Americans should know more about and hear more about and mm. and learn from. Mm. Absolutely, that is so true. Um, Todd, can you tell us more your future plan that you were telling um, that you are going to do the next distribution with Apna? Can you tell well, us uh, a bit more about that? Sure. The Association of Pakistani Physicians and Surgeons of North America, of, of Pakistani descent of North America, APNA, uh, a great, great, fantastic group of physicians heroically doing, you know, you probably know the the, the uh, District of Columbia, Maryland, Virginia uh, area chapter, uh, how amazing work uh, 
uh, they have done, uh, mm -hmm. feeding people and bringing money together uh, mm -hmm. to serve the poor. And APNA nationally as an organization has been at the forefront of funding COVID-19 emergency efforts in Pakistan and in America, feeding people who've been economically affected. And they're also on the front lines every day in the hospitals, saving lives and risking themselves. And, and, and even many doctors we and nurses we've lost uh, mm. uh, to this COVID-19. So uh, my hat's off to APNA. They have uh, supported uh, CDRS in this COVID-19 uh, mission. Uh, earlier, a few months back, uh, when we started feeding people, they gave us funds uh, for, for our uh, feeding program, which we fed people all over Pakistan from Chitral to Karachi. And I think the number is over 70,000 people now that we fed. Uh, and uh, they've just recently sent us funds to do a food distribution in Azad Kashmir, which I'll be leaving for on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we'll go do that uh, distribution. So uh, we, we love and respect APNA uh, for the great people they are. And we appreciate the fact that they have supported our work as well. Absolutely. So uh, uh, Fozia, are you going with the Todd too, Azad Kashmir? Yes. Aapki kya tayari hogi, kaisa mausam hoga, aur wahan pe bhi kuch aapka videos banane ka irada hai? Bilkul, bilkul videos to mein zarur banati hoon. Aha, achha. Ji ji. Kyunki wahan ki to khubsuna hai ki we are busy, so we have time to do it. Because the videos are only made in daytime. So, if you get daytime, you will get time. Do you cook food for Todd? Do you have any favorite dish that Todd has made? Yes, in Kashmir? No, here. Where did you get married? Yes, in Kashmir. They make a fish for me. I love, I also love Kima and I love, um, oh, do I cook? Actually, I did cook uh, for, for Fozia. I've cooked some fish for her and vegetables, but you know, Fozia is, um, she loves all these uh, kinds of foods and things, but she seems to be most happy with Pakistani food like dal chawal yeah. and, and yeah, she just loves dal chawal or or like uh, chicken cry. I mean, that's what she she loves these things. I think those this, these are our national food. Dal chawal is the most favorite food for everyone in Pakistan, even in India too. And uh, I like I like dal chawal, but I like to have dal chawal as a as a dish along with my chicken or something like that. Oh know? yeah. <laughs> That is true. Um, there are so much go, uh, go with dal chawal on the sides and chicken uh, is delicious too with dal chawal. That's true. I like carrots. I like carrots and vegetables as well. Shami kebab. Shami kebab is good too that, with dal chawal. <laughs> uh, Fozia, Fozia also likes um, this, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? It slipped my mind. but. Uh, yeah, Halim, Halim. Yes. I was thinking. Halim. Sorry. Yeah, Halim. Halim. Yeah, my mind too. Halim, jo hai, wo ek badi zabardast jo hai, wo dish hai. Aur kya kehte hai? Kya ni malum ki yaha pe Rabal Pindi mein aap log kahin baar ja ke koon si jaga jo hai, wo aap bata sakte hai. Hamare nazreen ko bhi bata hai ki yaha jaye to aapko zabardast Halim milega. Ye Rabal Pindi mein. बहुत जबरदस्त हलीम मिलता है वहाँ पे और बहुत अच्छा रेस्टोरेंट है। अच्छा। We both we both like mutton and these kinds of things, you know, mutton cry and and all that. So we we both like a lot of the same things and and but Fozia never tried shrimp prawns and I got her to try it. She didn't. She's like, I'm not gonna like this, but I got her to try it and now she likes it. You like it now. Uh, and mushrooms and avocados. So I've gotten her into mushrooms and avocados and prawns. <laughs> I know that we, I don't remember when I was in Pakistan um, having this uh, avocado and uh, those vegetables, whatever I, I have it here. So uh, that's true. 
there's a, one store a there's one store in the uh, coastal market where they have these avocados uh -huh. and mushrooms too yes yes right but i still miss over here uh, uh jaman chatut we don't find any uh, jaman chatut and um good mangoes um in america yes yeah, the mangoes are nothing in america like they are here and right? i really enjoyed this summer i really enjoyed the mangoes Oh. <laughs> you did, huh? Uh, let's let's talk about your in-laws. Fatia, aapke ghar walon ne kaise welcome kiya? Unka kya response tha? Shaadi se pehle, jab maine unke baare mein bataya ghar mein, ab to dil jeet liya hoga Todd ne. Dil dil, jaise Pakistan hai, dil dil in-laws mein bhi ho gaya hoga. Nee, mummy, abu jo hai, wo. मेरे साथ तो बहुत प्यार करते हैं मैं उनकी लाडली बेटी हूँ तो हाँ जी तो अब ये भी लाड ले उनके फिर खूब आवभगत होती होगी आप दोनों की शादी की पिक्चर बहुत खूबसूरत ओ दिस इज सो लवली बहुत खूबसूरत आपका आउटफिट और टॉट का दोनों की वो जबरदस्त पिक्चर है आई लव इट अच्छा did not agree so i was uh, very thankful to them that, and to god that that they agreed uh, that uh, accepted me as their son in law and you know yeah. fozi is such a good daughter she took them for hajj last november and uh, when her father was sick uh, in the hospital she spent a whole year taking care of him and so she's such a very good daughter yeah. and a lovely person and very responsible and independent self-made person uh who is uh you know quite successful on her own uh didn't need me for anything uh but uh i was lucky that uh that we came together and you know i i contacted her many months later uh mm -hmm. after first meeting her and mm -hmm. she, when i contacted her i found uh her number through a, a mutual uh facebook friend uh from radio pakistan and uh she basically uh said who are you and uh, why are you contacting me and you know uh <laughs> then i told her i said i met you at radio pakistan i'm the gora and then she remembered me and from there we we got to know each other <laughs> you made for each other that's the reason <laughs> yes yes definitely so lovely to talk to both of you um i know there is so much more we could talk about but i really uh, would like to end our conversation with the famous song that everyone i know that our nazreen our audience are waiting to to have the song that i when i heard first uh, uh, time that dil dil pakistan from todd i was astounded by the sincerity of uh, the dil he sang and we can tell from the way todd sings from the heart love sincerity and efforts he has put to bring prosperity to the country I'm so happy to hear about for the youth about the your feedback for the uh, positive attitude or uh, for for the future of a Pakistan, mashallah. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope everyone has the privilege of hearing this beautiful song from you. I I remember that you were singing um, uh, Dil Dil Pakistan in Safair restaurant last year, and one of the my one of my friend she came and she said. Oh, this Gora, he is singing the Urdu Urdu song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I really enjoy doing that song uh, because it's a catchy tune. It's like the second national anthem of Pakistan. But but people just uh, you know it, it, they really appreciate seeing me at least trying to sing it. You know, and they they give me an A for effort, even if I don't sing it the best. But they really uh, appreciate it and. and it it makes them you know feel very happy that there's this gora that felt uh uh strong enough about pakistan to learn to learn that song any message from uh fazia thought you want to give give to our audience our your friends here in pakistan well, well from my side uh i just want to say that if any one out there uh has kids that want to reconnect with pakistan they want to volunteer we have a lot of volunteer programs many different kinds of programs 
everything from rescuing kutas and bellies to working at our medical facilities to feeding the poor to working with our youth teams on our water projects there's lots of opportunities and any pakistani americans or anybody for that matter who loves pakistan who would like to do a project in pakistan we're doing many projects for pakistani americans who want to do something in their home village or they want to do a small project or a large project or a, sh a short term or long term we have a logistics capability so anybody out there that has been thinking that they'd like to do something but they didn't have their own team we we have a team for you to do the the work that you would like to do and we have a uh, 501c3 in america so it's legal to donate and they get the tax benefit uh, of that so we have a pcp registration in uh, pakistan center for philanthropy in uh Pakistan, we got a very high score of 822 out of 1,000, which is an extremely high score, very difficult to get because they're very tough in their criteria of ch checking every part of, of the organization. So people can uh, look at our track record of 15 years and look at uh, our registrations and everything. So they can feel confident that they can uh, do a project in partnership with us. And I have many such Pakistani Americans who we are already doing projects with, that if somebody wants their reference, then I can contact, uh, they can be in contact with those people to learn about how uh, they have worked with CDRS and how happy they are. So uh, my, my uh, message is that everyone is invited to work with us because that's what we're here for, to make mm -hmm. other people effective that want to do something good for Pakistan. Beautiful. Do you have any volunteer opportunities for the Azad Kashmir that you are going for the distribution? Any volunteers that you require? Yes, um, we have, you know, Islamic Medical Association of North America. They bring volunteers. They're doing another trip uh, in November. They come to our Mother Child Health Center. We've had Opna volunteers come there and, and work with us. Uh, we've had student volunteers that come and work in our office or they they come to one of our water projects or they go into the villages and help feed the poor. There, there, there's any number of, of opportunities. So just contact me. Uh, you know, uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on WhatsApp. I'm easy to find. And our website is cdrsworld.org, uh, cdrsworld.org. And so people can contact me and I'll uh, we'll, we'll get them started and we'll plan something together, whether it's now or whether it's a year from now, we can we can plan uh, on a mission together. Awesome, awesome. I would uh, ask all our audience in Pakistan uh, to engage our youth and uh, uh, contact Todd. This is a great opportunity. They need this experience uh, for their future. Um, Fazia, your message. message. <laughs> 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 Uh, we are and ready. That invitation extends to uh, Pakistani Americans, maybe because a lot of Pakistani, a lot of Pakistani Americans that I've talked to, their kids are in school or in college, and they want them to connect with their heritage and their their home country. So CDRS provides a way that they can come volunteer in places, and be, they'll they'll be safe, they'll be looked after, and they can connect, reconnect with their heritage and their. Uh, their uh, the country of their origin. So there, there's a lot that uh, that we do that within the relief work. There's beautiful mountains, and so you can have kind of a half vacation, half relief work, and and really reconnect with with the people of of, of Pakistan. So it's it's so the people that have come with us and worked with us, they've had uh, a lifetime uh, of memories to to enjoy of the work that they did. Absolutely. I wish that I can come to uh, to do well, all. You're invited of anytime. Whenever I get chance, uh, me and my husband, our family will be with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we are ready to hear the Bildil Pakistan. And um, the, after that, we are going to have a slogan that to Pakistan. Zindabad. Zindabad. And uh, thank you so much. And we have best wishes for Todd and uh, uh, Fazia. Thank you so much for taking our time again for Lifestyle TV channel. And we are ready. And then we are going to uh, finish our program to end our program on the Dildil Pakistan. Es <laughs> 
इनके सिवा जाना कहा पड़ती राहे ये राशनी चलता राहे ये खारवान दिल दिल पाकिस्तान जान जान पाकिस्तान 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 दिल दिल से मिलते है तो प्यार का चेहरा बनता है चेहरा बनता है फूल इकलदी में फेरो तो पे सेहरा बनता है सेहरा बनता है हे दिल दिल पाकिस्तान जान जान पाकिस्तान दिल दिल पाकिस्तान जान जान पाकिस्तान गार अपना तो सबको जी जान से प्यार लगता है प्यार लगता है हमको भी अपने हर आमान से प्यार लगता है प्यार लगता है हे दिल दिल पाकिस्तान जान जान पाकिस्तान 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 पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद थैंक यू सो मच थार एंड फॉर्जिया अल्लाह ने के बाद